Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Google has rolled out the early stable update for Google Chrome 139, which is our next stable release. And the early stable rolls out about a week before the version becomes generally available to the public. And most people, including myself, as you may well know by now, have not received it because Google A-B tests the early stable with a limited subset of users before it, as mentioned, rolls out and becomes generally available. Now, the update, when it does roll out, starting next week, the 5th, so that would be August the 5th, we should start seeing version 139 scheduled to be rolled out on that date. When the update rolls out, version and build will be bumped up to 139.0.7258.66. So just a quick overview as to what I would think that we could possibly see rolling out in version 139 next week. And this is according to what I've seen in the preview versions of the browser and also according to the Chrome platform status. And obviously this is not comprehensive and is subject to change. Now, first of all, and as always, we will get our security updates that will roll out with version 139. And there's quite a big change coming for Android users, which I have posted on previously. And I'll leave the video linked because Chrome 138 is the last version of Chrome. So that's the current release, 138. The last version of Chrome that will support Android 8, that's Oreo and Android 9 Pi. Chrome 139, which is rolling out next week, scheduled for release on the 5th, is the first version of Chrome that requires Android 10 or later. So according to Google, you'll need to ensure your device is running Android 10 or later to continue receiving future Chrome releases. So that's quite important. I'll leave that video linked if you'd like some more information. And then I think with 139, like or hated, Google will continue migrating to manifest V3 extensions from V2 extensions. And there'll be an emphasis on extensions migrating to manifest V3. Because as you may well know already, uBlock Origin, which is a MV2 extension, has been removed and doesn't work anymore. And I'll leave a video I've posted recently, which is helping quite a few folks out on how you can get uBlock Origin back and working in Google Chrome. And on the note of V3 extensions, it's going to be interesting to see with version 139 if it's going to block the workaround to get uBlock Origin working again in Google Chrome. I'll leave the video linked. And when it comes to developer tools, web developers are getting quite a couple of bug fixes and performance improvements, which is good because if the web developers get the improvements, that means a better and a more stable browser for the end user at the end of the day. And one of the improvements is you will be able to upload images to chats with Gemini for better AI assistance in the dev tools. So if we head to more tools, developer tools, that could be a nice improvement for developers with the next version upgrade 139. And you can also expect to see some changes for websites, how they look and behave with updates to the CSS, like more advanced corner shapes and animations. And when it comes to security and privacy, version 139 is getting better at preventing accidental password deletions, which I think is a nice move. And then we could also start seeing the rollout of shared tab groups. Now, currently in the stable version 138, if I right-click on a tab and I'll say add tab to new group, create a tab group, there's no way to share that group. And if I head over to Canary, which is a very early preview version, just to demonstrate, if I right-click add tab to new group, we can see you have the option to share tab groups. So that is a small change. So that is a small change if you are using tab groups that could be a move in the right direction, which we could see roll out with version 139, being able to share those tab groups. And then something else that's not mentioned on the Chrome platform status or online for version 139, which I have been posting on, is the split screen view, which if I head over to 
the Canary version, the early preview version, split screen or split view as it's known in Chrome, is a feature that Google has been giving a lot of work and the flag has already become available in the stable version of 138. I'll leave a video as well on how you can enable split view in the current stable version. If you would be interested, I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. But the flag is already available in 138. So there is a very good chance that split view or split screen, as it's also known, might make its way into our next stable release. I think it's only a matter of time before we start getting that. But I'll keep you guys posted. So guys, that's just a quick overview as to what we could see possibly roll out with version 139. And as always, there could be a couple of surprises when it comes to front-facing features and tweaks and adjustments. But obviously, I'll keep you guys posted as soon as 139 rolls out next week. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.